Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 as Rangers. We're going to be taking on Hearts today at Ibrox. We've beaten them twice and lost to them once in our meetings so far. They're currently sitting third in the league having lost one game. We are of course top with four wins out of our first four. Celtic matching that record but we're actually ahead of them on goals scored thus far. Looking at the tactics here before we jump into this game against Celtic. Herrera. What the hell? Herrera is a complete forward with support, has a red rating, but green with a... what? This literally makes no sense. Considering he's been playing as a supporting complete forward the whole time, that's really weird. Um, I'm not going to change anything else about the team, I'm not even going to change that, I'm going to leave him support because I think that's some sort of weird... I don't know, that look, that's, that's strange, I don't get that. But um, the only thing I'm going to change, Cardoso coming in for McCrory, Fodringham can come back on for Fulton there. Uh, other than that, we're going to go with Fodringham, Cardoso, Alves, Milanese, Houston, Mitchell, Price, Henderson, Afif, Herrera and Morelos. I am going to go with Afif, I'm not going to bring um, Here eh, sorry, Peña back in. So I'm going to go with that. I still find this Herrera thing really weird that he suddenly jumped to being red and completely incapable of playing the supporting duty that doesn't make any sense we're just going to see what happens it seems like a display problem to me rather than because there's no way he can go from being perfectly capable doing it to completely incapable uh, Walker forward for Salmon who has to be offside he is indeed the early warning for is there and the ball technically just trickled into our net but obviously man offside Free kick now put in towards Cardoso, who heads it off the bar and over. Good early chance for us. Over 60% possession now as we're coming up for the 10 minute mark. No shots for Hearts yet. We've had three with only the one hitting the target. Martin now with the free kick for Hearts. He will play it uh, down that side there. Houston will cut it out. It'll be back to Martin. He probably could have let it run for a goal kick. Martin now Herrera pinches it forward to Afif. He's got to get it. He does get it long. Morelos trying to run off his man. He does. A thief now trying to get into the box. Morelos beats his man. Can he find a thief? He drills it. Oh, it's a terrible cross from Morelos and Jack Hamilton easily cutting that out. He could probably have just lobbed it over the top and got um, Mitchell coming in actually over on the left hand side. But Jack Hamilton now can launch this for Hearts up towards Salmon. It's away by Alves, but it is cushioned down by Doom to Lafferty, who gives it away to Houston, forward for Herrera, moves it quickly to Morelos. Morelos holds it up, going for Herrera. It's a terrible pass. Herrera forced wide now. Drills across. Morelos arrives and pokes it in as the three Hearts defenders stand ball watching. It's an assist for Eduardo Herrera and another goal for Alfredo Morelos as the two front men linking up well again. Look to be winning our first five in a row today. This will put us three clear of Celtic ahead of their game. Not sure who they're actually going to be taking on. Corner now, Martin. Whipped in, Salmon unmarked, and it's a goal. It's 1 1. That's a shocking bit of defending there, Corner Salmon, completely unmarked from the corner. And he easily nods it into the net. So disappointing. If a team plays through you, it's fair enough. But just lumping it in and a guy completely unmarked. One one shot on target, one goal. And Walker now with a free kick. Hearts threatening to do it again. It's in, it's headed, it's off the bat, it's in. It's Christoph Berra. And Hearts have come from behind. And they now lead at Ibrox. One from a corner, one from a free kick. Horrible defending. And Hearts have had two shots, two on target, two goals. Playing with a very positive 4-2-3-1 actually, Hearts today. And somehow they've managed to nick a 2-1 lead at half time. It's shocking, shocking defending. They're going to absolutely be put on blast for this. Horrible play. And Morelos and Herrera doing okay up front. I still don't get that. What the hell is up with that? We'll give him the attacking duty and see what happens, but I still find it weird. Peña's going to come on. Um, there's not really anybody in there else we can do. We're going to go more attacking, I suppose. That'll give us something. We'll up the tempo a bit. We'll play with a higher line. <clears throat> and we're going to have to tell the boys, obviously, to push forward when we can. It's back to Alves. He plays it out to Milanese. Milanese will go forward for Henderson. 
as we start the second half, 2-1 down, Hearts have had two shots, both of them headers from set pieces where we've left the Hearts players completely unmarked. Throw in now Mitchell, come on, tie this up early on. Henderson, forward to Morelos, space into the box, bring him down, Morelos square for Herrera, He's carrying it around, it goes back to Peña who hits a shot and it's into the bottom right hand corner, Carlos Peña. And there you go, that's an argument that you don't leave him out again. Carlos Peña with a lovely finish, 2-2 early in the second half. Hopefully we can punish Hearts now. As Mitchell goes into the book. Grazelak throws it to Berra now. Can he lose it to Herrera? Oh, he almost lost it to Herrera. Picked up by Henderson. Through for Morelos. If he's onside, it is 3-2. Is it 3-2? I think it is. It is indeed 3-2. I'm going to have to praise the boys for this. What a comeback. 15 minutes into the second half. 3-2. No more than we deserve. Hearts have had nothing in this game other than those two jammy set pieces. I'm just telling the guys to concentrate now as we move into the last 10 or so. Uh, James Tavernier will come on for Jordan Houston, who's unfortunately picked up a knock. As we get into the last couple of minutes, we'll make another sub and we'll go more defensive. We're going to go contain now just for these last couple of minutes as we move into injury time. Milanese will come off for Ross McCrory, who will go out to the right-hand side. Cardoso will move to the left. Bruno Alves continuing in the middle of them. Five minutes will be added on. Uh, we can tell the boys to tighten up and hopefully we can just see out this added time with the 3-2 win. Three minutes have passed without incident here. Morelos and Peña with the goals today. A couple of seconds left. Hamilton playing the ball out. And the final whistle goes a 3-2 victory for Rangers. A great turnaround after going in 2-1 behind. Completely undeservedly, I may add. And we've turned it around. Excellent stuff. And that's 5 out of 5. Milanese will be out for 6 to 8 days with a gashed head. Houston 1-2 to two with a tight calf, which we can definitely deal with. 9 days we'll be playing Hamilton Ackies. And that'll be away at New Douglas Park. But before then, we need to see if Celtic can win in Paisley against St Mirren. You'd expect them to. St Mirren, yeah, 5 nothing to Celtic, which will actually jump them back to the top of the league. Uh, Fulpala got 12 minutes. He was never going to do much against Celtic. And now we're eight days before we take on Hamilton next Sunday. I think our young Polish winger just scored there for Cali Thistle, if I read that correctly. 5-0 to Celtic, just confirmation of that. Hibs are up to third, five points behind ourselves. And Celtic. Let's see, David Bates, Thompson, but Donald, uh, Danny Finlayson doing very, very well for Cali Thistle in a 3-0 over Montrose. And yes, indeed, Bednarczyk did score a goal, 7.5 uh, with uh, 90 minutes of the game there. How is he getting on in terms of the attributes? He is developing as a player. There is strength going up quite a bit, and a lot of these uh, a lot of these mental stats improving, which is definitely something we need to see. Uh, he's a decent young prospect. Kelly got a couple, you know, the, the 90 minutes. Um, Mabudi got 67 minutes. Didn't play particularly well, but really he just needs to get first-team experience. So it's good to see a lot of those players who've been loaned out actually being used. We need to get first team experience. Jack Adamson wants to go out on loan for first team experience. Who am I to deny a young player who wants to go and play football? Offer him out. Key player, please. Discuss. You're right, I think a loan move would be good for you. Let's try and get you out. Morton in loan swoop as well as Dumbarton for... Rangers Jack Adamson, hopefully they're going to take him as a first team player. Uh, they're both going to take him for cover, but you know what, again it's more likely to get game time there than he is here. So I will let him go. Cheku Kuyati would be a good signing. Uh, he's also worth 12.25 million. Where am I getting that money? We'll just sell Ibrox and play down the local park. <clears throat> so hopefully Celtic can can slip up in their next league game and we can take advantage because I mean having won the first five games and not being top of the league 
is pretty damn harsh, but it just shows what we're up against. Uh, and we are going to be directly up against Celtic in the quarterfinal of the Betfred Cup after we play Hamilton. So we need to beat Hamilton. Nice, confident performance away from home to give us some momentum get into the game against Celtic. We did face them at Ibrooks early last season when we were in good form, and we did manage to beat them on that occasion. So hopefully we can carry that kind of performance forward uh, and beat them here out of the Cup. The Cup competitions are our best chance, really, of silverware. Over a season, I still feel Celtic will be too strong for us, particularly with the amount of chances we're given to youth players. So hopefully we can do well in cup competitions. Um, and that should get us some silverware. So we're moving into the weekend now. Hearts are away at Dundee. I'd imagine Celtic will probably play on the Saturday, but they might be the Sunday as well. <clears throat> Hearts with a 1-1 up in Dundee. That actually moves them into third place, just above Hibs there. Now the Saturday games, Are Celtic going to play today, let's see, Celtic are playing today, St Johnson, third last season, currently sitting 11th, go to Parkhead, I don't expect them to get much, they'll probably get slapped just like St Mirren did, 3-1, yeah, 3-1 to Celtic, comfortable victory, <clears throat> not as ugly as I was expecting it to be actually, I was expecting a 4 or a 5-0. But a comfortable 3-0 for Celtic. Uh, St. Johnson are only off the foot of the table by virtue of how just useless St. John, uh, sorry, St. Mirren are, quite frankly. St. Mirren have no points so far. St. Johnson just the two. Uh, so that they're surviving by virtue of the fact that St. Mirren are so damn poor. I can't see anything other than St. Mirren finishing bottom of the table. Another goal for Bednarczyk there on, on loan at Cali Thistle with an 8.3 today. He's played really, really well. Uh, in recent weeks playing well, training well that's that's all you can ask for these players when they're out on loan Adamson is going to Morton that's fine, we'll compile match reports on him keep track of him if he goes anywhere <coughs> Houston, Rositer and Thompson have, we need to keep track of in terms of their Fitness, okay, I guess we can just play James Tavernier today then, if Houston's a bit sketchy on the old fitness front. Uh, mm, I don't know if we want to return anybody to the squad. I'm actually going to take Ryan Jack off the bench. I'm going to bring Baronas back in, but he's not going to play. Pena will come in ahead of Akram Afif today. Uh, Broman actually probably going to come out and we'll put... Yeah, we'll put Ryan Jack back on the bench. So we've got Baronas and Jack both on there. Liam Henderson's playing far too well to leave out. Price is playing well too. Look at Henderson actually. He looks a cracking player. He's gonna be he's gonna be a solid midfielder in the future. So it's gonna be Fodringham, Cardoso, Alves, Milanese, Tavernier, Mitchell, Price, Henderson, Pena, Herrera, and Morelos. And that's probably gonna be the lineup to face Celtic. <clears throat> a 4-1-4-1 from Hamilton here, the same thing that we faced when we played St. Mirren. I expect nothing but a victory from this match. And here we go. Encourage. Donati out to Dunn. Dunn playing it forward for Redman. Redman switches it out to the right hand side. And we've snatched the ball and we have over 80% possession in the first five minutes. Hopefully it'll pay off for us. But Redman puts it in for Hamilton and we go with sleep for a corner. And Morelos has given away a penalty. Or was it Henderson that gave away the penalty? I'm not entirely certain. Either way, penalty given by the referee who has default haircut number one. It was Craig Thompson, who certainly doesn't have a mohawk in real life. But it's Wes Fodringham up against Massimo Donati, former Celtic player, of course. Fodringham to keep us at 0-0. And it's in. Donati, one nothing to Hamilton. And once again, we're absolutely dominating. Corner comes in, we can't deal with it, and it costs us a goal. Maybe we'll have to work on defending set pieces for a little while. Frank Holm is a knock for Hamilton at the moment. And 20 minutes in, 70% possession, only one shot though. We're not creating anything, now it's a corner for us. Price delivering it, easily headed away by Donati. Moral Morelos will pick it up now, plays it to Milanese, who's got quite a bit of space to work in here. He decides to have a go, and it's a fucking smashing effort by Marco Milanese. Assisted by Morelos, 20 yards screamer from the young centre-back. I'd seen that he was on the left-hand side, I thought he was going to have a goal, 
but I didn't think it was going to crash into the top corner. So hopefully we can push on from here. Let's try and push the boys forward. We've got 15 minutes to try and get ahead before half time. <coughs> Carlos Pena's been disappointing today, which is quite frustrating considering we brought him on in the last game after leaving him out and he, he scored obviously the goal against Hearts last time out. It is half time now, 1 1. A penalty to put Hamilton ahead and then a stunning strike from Marco Milanese. Gets his equaliser, but we've got to be doing better here. Pena, we're going to take off actually for a fief. He's going to try and play that role just in behind the strikers. I'm going to let Herrera be an attacking complete forward again. I really don't know what's happened with him as a supporting advanced uh, complete forward. That's really weird. Price playing out to Henderson as he moves it on. Uh, 50 minutes gone in the game. Still looking for the go-ahead goal. Mitchell with the throw-in. Henderson picks it up. Lovely flick to Afif. There's space here for Price. Afif plays it to Price. Space to hit a shot here. Well, they go for one. Now he goes out to Tavernier. Tavernier, who carrying a knock, currently loses it. Redmond will play it long. Easy for Bruno Alves. Gets it to Henderson. Mitchell's got space out wide left. Takes a decent touch. Angles a ball in. Herrera's up. Heads it. And it's Eduardo Herrera. It is 2-1 to Rangers. Praise be. And we're going to take... Tavernier off for Houston, obviously Houston lacking a little bit of fitness, but but Houston is going to have to come on for Tavernier now who's carrying a knock. Henderson will come off for Baronas soon because Henderson's struggling a little bit with his condition at the moment. Woods playing that long, Boyle going for it, it's away by Milanese who scored that screamer earlier on today. Skondras now playing it out wide, Boyle coming forward. Hamilton looking to be a bit more positive now that they're behind, but Bruno Alves plays it to Mitchell. Into Henderson. Launches it forward for Morelos, making a run. It's away by Saris. But Mitchell, lovely take on the chest, beats Boyle, and then just, I don't know, stands and watches. Skondras now. Mitchell trying to fly in and win it back. He does. He's got space to cross. He does. Morelos sweeps it home. It's brilliant play by Mitchell out in that left-hand side, and it is now 3-1. We're going to bring on Baronas for Henderson, who's only at 71% condition at the moment. Morelos is in on the action. Morelos has a goal. Uh, Herrera has a goal. Two of them playing brilliantly up front. And then obviously Milanese's absolute screamer was the other one. But I was worried actually when when Hamilton took the lead and we went in at 1-1 at halftime. But we've done well. We've came out and bossed the second half. Played much better in the second half than the, than the first. Going into the last 10 minutes now, nothing to worry about. Easy street here for Rangers. Mitchell with an 8.4 with two assists today. And honestly, I did not expect him to perform this well when he came into the squad. But he has been immense as a left wing back. Big test coming up for him when we face Celtic at the start of the next episode. We'll see how he gets on in that one. It's going to be much, much harder than any of the tests he's faced so far. But he's been excellent. He's been way better than Jonas Knudsen, who we paid nearly £2 million for when we picked up Mitchell for free. And we're just waiting for the whistle here. There it goes. 3-1. Rangers win away at Hamilton. A brilliant, brilliant, brilliant performance in the second half from us. I'm going to actually even be passionate and say well done to try and get them as motivated as possible for the Celtic game. Tavernier injury will be 6-11 to 11 days. So Jordan Houston definitely starting against Celtic. And that'll be Houston and Mitchell. How is Mitchell getting on in his training? Uh, mm, not bro. His decisions have went up a tiny little bit and that's it. Not exactly not exactly improving leaps and bounds, but you know what? He played well, so we'll, we'll take it. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, we have Celtic and Dundee, both coming to Ibrooks. Uh, but great results today for us. Victory over Hearts in what was a tough game, and then coming from behind to beat Hamilton three goals to one. If you guys have enjoyed this one, please drop down below and leave a like on the video. If you want to follow the series, you can click that subscribe button, which I'd be eternally grateful for. But mostly, just thank you for watching the videos, and I'll see you next time when Celtic and Dundee rock up at Ibrooks.